Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. And you know what? We've had an exciting last few days with the presentation and the official launch of the Galaxy Watch, that Galaxy Home speaker, and of course the Note 9. But according to recently released information, it's actually the Samsung Galaxy S10, which is going to be the real powerhouse, and it may just give the iPhone a run for its money. And it appears that we won't even have to wait too long to see Samsung's next flagship, as the launch is expected to take place at either the CSE event in January or possibly the Mobile World Congress in February 2019. So what I thought I would do is list my top 5 features or improvements that we may see in the S10. Now starting things off is very exciting with an in-screen fingerprint reader. And back in June it was reported that Samsung had filed for a patent which shows a fingerprint scanner placed partially under the display glass of the smartphone. And this is really unlike any other fingerprint scanner on the market because it would use ultrasonic technology which would make it much more accurate compared to optical technology which is currently used in smartphones. Now besides being more reliable, there's also a number of other benefits of this technology. First, it will definitely be faster and it will even work if the device or your finger is wet and it will also free up a lot of space on the device as it will no longer need to be positioned at the front or the rear of the device, which means that more space can be used for extra features and give the device a cleaner look overall. It also means the device would have the best screen to body ratio at 90%, which would basically result in an all screen design. Another very cool feature we may see in the S10 is a transparent backplate. Now there's already one phone on the market which launched with its own transparent blue skeleton backplate just a few months ago and it's actually been creating quite the buzz online because of this unique and stunning design. And it would have been nice if Samsung had incorporated this technology into the Note 9 but I think the S10 is actually the perfect time to introduce this and not only because 10 releases is something to celebrate but it's a high-end feature that would definitely separate it from other rivals, particularly Apple. Coming in at number three, expect to see Android 9 Pi software coming on a variety of Android phones for the remainder of 2018. Keep in mind though that the newest versions are not coming preloaded on the phones quite yet. However, the S10 will be designed from the ground up with the software already, which means it will be fully optimized, tested, and ready to use enhanced power and AI intelligence right out of the box, and this will definitely appeal to those power users that expected a high level of performance and functionality. Another welcome enhancement will be the all new triple lens camera on the back. Now this new camera will reportedly consist of the following, a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, a 13 megapixel telephoto camera with up to three times optical zoom, and a 16 megapixel super wide angle camera that will have the widest field of view ever seen on a Galaxy S phone. Now this is gonna be a significant improvement and will not only be one of the main selling points of the phone, but it will ensure that it secures its place in the high end smartphone market. Now one piece of technology that may be in the S10 is 5G connectivity. And you may ask why this is important. Well, there's a lot of carriers that are already preparing to switch on the 5G technology and this would allow for higher mobile data speeds and they're really leaning on flagship handsets to really help lead the way, such as Samsung and Apple. Interestingly enough though, Samsung recently said that the S10 will launch with 5G support but it will not be the first handset to carry 5G which could suggest that Samsung is currently working on another device to be released with the 5G technology and speculations are pointing towards that being a foldable or bendable device which could also be released around the same time as the S10. And the S10 is expected to be released in three different sizes and each of those sizes will include a 4K display, have an improved processor to support faster RAM and storage modules, and possess the impressive Snapdragon 855 chipset. So while the Note 9 is pretty cool, especially with that S Pen remote control capability, I really think that it's the S10 that's going to give Samsung that much needed smartwatch sales boost it needs. And just out of curiosity, for those of you looking to upgrade their current phone, would you consider getting the Note 9 now? Or based on the features of the S10, do you think it's worth waiting another five months for this device? Let me know in the comments below. I'll keep you guys posted for future updates on this device. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.
appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.